Let's see you cook, Ibalida. Or at least, how well you can stall. What's up, guys? I go up on Sergeant here to do a breakdown slash live reaction review to Chapter 6 of Zenobi Undercover, which is literally called... <laughs> It's literally called the body's location. So she is just stalling. I think that works though. I think it'd be actually ludicrous if she beat my main man here with one broken arm and a body. Well, well maybe. I don't think he's going to attack a knocked out body. I highly doubt that. Maybe. Hostage scenario is crazy. Because she, she didn't throw him out or anything. So like, I mean, I mean, I mean, a body's a body, you know. A hostage is a hostage, you know. Ibari's arm is gone, you know. So let's see what's about to go down. We may need Big Yodaka. We may need the other guy. I didn't reread. I should have reread. This is chapter six. I'm going to start losing access to chapters immediately. But with it being the case, let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into it. Editing me. Are you ready? Three, two, one. What's up, guys? That guy with a oh I, pencil here. Fun fact: I do a bazoo. Have it all, and he it on me at all times. Then another fun fact: I already forgot Bro's name. <laughs> How do I remember he bought you, not him? I actually, Loki. This is gonna sound crazy. I know he's like an evil traitor assassin guy, also a ninja too, obviously. But like, he's kind of my favorite character already. <laughs> is that bad? Is that that's probably bad. That's a little bit bad. But, like, I like him already. But I forget his name. I'm, I'm really bad. I'm real bad with it. I'm really bad with it. But as long as he sticks around, and I'm hoping that he does stick around. I'm low-key hoping he becomes a recurring antagonist. He's already gotten two chapters. That's more than any other antagonist has gotten so far. I'm interested to see how this goes. Actually, three. But let's hop right into it. Tell you what. I'll take you one with just one arm. You're cooked. You're cooked. Like, don't get me wrong. I believe in self-confidence as much as the next guy. But at the same time, one, singular, you weren't beating him with two. You are not future Gohan. <laughs> I do not see any Saiyan genes in you. You are not getting a power amp right now. You're not going Super Saiyan 2. I refuse to believe it. Let's see. You seriously think we're on the same playing field? <laughs> That was actually half me genuinely laughing and the other half me extending the line. Which I tend to do from time to time. I think it's funny. But let's see. Oh, he, do he does miss, though. He does miss, though. So, like, it, you may not be exactly... I mean, she said take you on. She didn't say she'd win. <laughs> but there's no... I mean, like, unless Shinobi Undercover, which is by Takaguchi Sensei, gets a whole lot darker than I think it's going to go. I highly doubt she's going to lose her life here. But still, I wonder... I wonder how much permanence this whole interaction is going to have. And I wonder if we're going to get Yodaka in this chapter at all. Or if it really is just going to be her stalling for her life. I wouldn't be shocked by either. Well, let's see. Hey, buddy's location. Oh, this man's a genuine next level tier. Let's see. He's probably... Oh, he's probably here to slaughter the bodyguards. After he picks us off, he'll go after the assignment. I mean, like... It, I guess it is just safer. But he doesn't know. The max amount, right? Because we know our main three. We know it's Hibadi, Yodaka, and the third guy, whose name I consistently forget, even though I should have gone re read. But there are more. Honestly, just isolate the assignment. And in fact, this may have been the worst decision you could have made. Because if Hibadi disappears, they're going to get more on alert. And then every other member of Public Safety is going to get more on alert than they were before. And they're already kind of on alert. So honestly, if I was, his name starts with an M. I think it does. Gosh darn it. But with that being the case, his better play here may have been to just grab her and dip. Like, the reason the first guy failed is because he attempted to grab her with Yodaka there. Because he didn't yo know Yodaka was part of public safety. So, like, okay, maybe you don't want to try that with Yodaka being there. But at the same time, that doesn't mean you can't isolate the assignment. You, you you could at least attempt you you could give it a shot because with your skills you probably could have just yoinked or at least bang yoinked and then gone I mean I mean once again we just don't know that much about the assignment at this point and once again I, I, I gotta start rereading I gotta start rereading I did good with Ichi the Witch I was like okay I'm gonna reread this a couple times I gotta get the names down I got Ichi I got Deskalas I got Ururo I got them down I don't I don't I can think of them I can think of the names and now I do have Kamugi in there I don't remember the... No, Shira Badana. I remember the Analytic Witch. And I remember... What is it? 
What is it? What I forget. I forget their leader's name. Goldmary. Something, but that's the entire Lieberman series that does have one more chapter, and I'll admit it did grab me by the throat immediately in a way that Sh Shinobi Undercover has not yet. But I, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. There are some series who haven't caught me till like their twentieth chapter. If if you think of the if you think it's the series that you're thinking of that I covered on the channel, yes, it is exactly that. But would that be the case? Let me see. <sighs> First, I'll report the situation. How? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yes, exactly. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But, let's see. Huh? My calm. Mind if I borrow this? Oh, he slick with How do you even, I mean, like, I mean, I suppose the pockets are, it's kind of deep. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's vague enough. It's large enough that maybe, maybe you could just snatch that without noticing. But still, that's a pretty impressive dexterity feat. And either that in the midst of an attack, that, would, that honestly, never mind. It explains exactly why he whiffed. Because he was going for not her, but her communication device. But that's also smart, right? Like, you isolate her the best you can, especially while she's distracted. And he did that good. Once. He, he, he built like that. So far, he kind of heal. But like, mind if I borrow this? Uh, do you think he bodies still mad? Should I have apologized? Don't ask me. The other, the other ninjas have communicators like this too, right? Well, obviously. They're required to pinpoint your locations for emergencies and share information, too. Oh, uh, could you talk to Ibani and find out how mad she is right now? Were you listening? <laughs> I mean, I do get that, though. Especially, like... Well, actually, not necessarily because I've never gotten angry with anyone, anyone at my workplace. And I don't think anyone has gotten angry at my workplace about me. At least as far as I know. I don't know. HR has never come to bother me. But I get that, like, need for your doctor, like, hey... I want to communicate. I haven't had it in, like, the professional setting, but I have had it in, like, friend groups where I'm like, okay, they're mad at me, but I can't tell how mad, and I'm afraid if I engage, I will make them more angry. So if you could do me a favor, Buckaroo, friend who's <laughs> friend who's tied to both of us, if you could double check on how they're feeling about your boy, I'd greatly appreciate it. Whether it's safe for me to go in there and either apologize or explain or further elaborate, or if I should not touch it with a 50-foot pole, lest I risk my own life. I've been in both scenarios before. And I can understand your doctor, especially someone who's like, just generally so socially, socially? I swear you can speak English. Socially awkward like your doctor, being a little bit <laughs> too worried to directly engage. But let's see. Uh oh. But yes, you should be cooked. Unless the voice starts coming through. I don't know. You can't contact anybody now. I need to go, I need to pick you off one by one so no one notices. He knows about our communicators? You're a ninja? You think he's a random? I mean, like, do, do so, like, once again, I always, I'm, I'm the kind of guy who'll, like, get a piece of information and then be like, hmm, interesting piece of information. Then crack that piece of information open and try to extrapolate it. Does that mean they're just regular dudes in this universe this strong? Hey, Bari, I thought you were built like that. What do you mean you just think there are people out here like this? With his training, his abilities, and his casual dominance over you so far. You, you didn't think there was that? You thought it was just a regular, regular dude? <laughs> you thought he was just built like that? Does that mean we're gonna run into? I mean, I'm not complaining. Typically, I actually do prefer verses that just have the potential for randomly powerful people to exist. It's why I like the JJK universe. It's why, I like, honestly, I'm, so far, once again, it's very short started. By like the Ichi the Witch universe sounds like it could be a universe like that. Any, I mean, like, really, any universe with a power system is like that kind of like Dragon Ball. I don't necessarily mind. Hey, here's a super secret strong guy in another universe or a pocket of the universe you didn't know about. Why? Because the universe just works like that. So honestly, if Shinobi Undercover, which seemingly does not have a power system yet, who knows, but if it has that, where just random fodder can be not fodder, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I ain't knocking it. Once again, that gives us the opportunity to spread beyond the school setting, which is, once again, someone pointed this out, I think, two or three chapter reviews ago, and I'll point it out here. Yeah, that is a little bit concerning with Shinobi Undercover. I don't know. I need to sit down and, like, read more strictly school stories, but, like, typically, school stories never stay in school. <laughs> it's, it's like a law it's a weird law of nature except for blue box but then again i fell off a of blue box a while ago. like i like i occasionally click in on it to just double check in fact is it still going the blue box end i actually on hold on i covered that on the channel like once so i was like hey, you know what <laughs> i i know i'm experimenting but let me not experiment that much hold on let me let me let me take a look in a book reading room once i be i think i think i saw a blue box on viz let me see. Because if it's over, I mean, I'll, I'll catch up. Like, she, 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 I'll read it. I'll read it. I like Blue Box in its early days. I remember I clicked on the chapter. I was like, oh, well, okay. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It's still going on. 
Yeah, the new chapter's coming in one day. Okay, yeah. So, so I'm just way far behind on Blue Box. I need to go catch up on that. But that aside, let's see. I was until I got out. Oh, so you're a fugitive ninja. Yes. Put the setup. I'm still so mad that it was set up so cleanly in chapter four. This is right at the start. The concept of fugitive ninja. New character introduced. I was in like immediately, oh, that's a fugitive ninja. I wish I was more intelligent. I was like, my left arm is injured. And I have a civilian here. Throw her out the window. Well, they're on the second floor. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to be like, if you throw her out the window, then she'll land on the ground. But no, I think they are on like the second or third floor. So never mind. Do not throw her out the window. I, like, I can't contact anybody. And I'm against a defector. This is bad. Not just any defector. He's low-key. He's low-key backing you up. I was like, I saw through you guys right away. It was painful watching you act. Huh? I've got more of you to kill. Let's finish this quickly, shall we? Hold on. What about my acting was painful? <laughs> I mean, one thing, I don't know. I mean, I guess, that, then again, it's hard to say, right? Because I suppose there is a difference between the many me's, right? There's the me who records. There's the me who edits. There's the me who speaks to people on the same level as me in a professional space. People lower than me in a professional space and people higher than me in a professional space. And then there's just me in public with like older people and me in public with younger people and me in public with like children or beings, human beings under the age of like five where they don't, or like three, I'd say, because I'd say five girls can speak coherent conversations, but like three and but like, uh, like my tone of voice and stuff like that does change, but I wouldn't say any of that's acting. So I can't say this firsthand, but like, I, I get kind of what he means. Like, especially if you know, if someone's like, if you know the real version of somebody, and you see them get down on their knees and start slibbity slopping for something. And this could be anything. It could be for a better grade. It could be for a promotion. It could be for anything. And you just see like, hmm, mm, yeah, that ain't you, bucker. And I can tell it ain't you. Like, I, I get how it can be a little bit painful to watch, but you can't. Just like I'm assuming he didn't knock it. I, I wouldn't. I don't knock it. I'm like, do what you gotta do. Get your bag. Get your paper. Get your grades. Do it. Do whatever you need to do. I'm not. I'm not a hater. I just observe. But naturally, I've sort of assimilated all the different pencils into one unified pencil. And thusly, I don't necessarily think any of the sides I show are acting, but just me. Let's see. Well, for example, when you came into the class this morning. Good morning, everybody. You were like some character from educational programming. But like, I get, uh, yeah, and to be fair, we know she is acting. But... I mean, extroverts are well liked, and notably, I'd say, what's it called, ambiverted. I was I was talking with a friend one time, and they were like, "Yeah, pencil, you're ambiverted." I'm like, "What does that even mean?" But then I remembered, oh, amp, well, not amphibian, but like ambid probably means a flip between introvert and extrovert. And I do get that. Like, I can spend an extensive amount of time alone and not necessarily be bothered by it. But at the same time, I do like communication. I do like interacting with people. I do like being in public spaces, if you could not tell. But, <laughs> and and I say that because extroverts typically, I mean, they are, he is right, though. It, it does seem a bit forced by her. And just see if he can tell her real personality underneath. I, saw, I suppose this would be a little bit like, really, dog. And, hey, a lot of people do take their cues from the media they consume. And if you know that in a lot of media, extroverted, high energy, open, fun characters are well liked and you want to be well liked, you'll typically mirror those types of characters, mirror those types of archetypes. I personally don't do that as much, but a lot of my phrases come from popular things. I don't even remember where I got I have it on me and I keep it on me from. What's up, guys? That with the pencil. That's, a, I mean, that kind of the pencil part is unique. That's me, but like, that was stolen. From somewhere because i liked it and thusly i i majin booed it i morphed my hand did that grabbed it and ate it and i was like mm, beautiful that's part of me now all the voices i did like legitimately a lot of it just does come from viewing and appropriating based on what i enjoyed and thusly if i enjoyed it since i am a human being i think other human beings would enjoy it but i understand what he means i still once again going back to the whole idea of like you know the truth and you see someone slopping off but the, huh and when that guy forgot his homework. Oh, silly. Be more careful next time. Yeah, po did she poke his head? You even gave him a forehead poke. <laughs> I mean... I guess it's, it's just... It, it really comes down to if it's real or fake. Because I know some very handsy, very loud, very inspiring, admittedly, extroverted people. And I care for them deeply. But at the same time, I can definitely, you know understand how it can get a little bit tiring 
from time to time. Just a little bit. But let's see. Ah. Uh, that didn't seem realistic. Oh, come on! That was adorable! Also, when you trip during gym... Okay, now, now, okay, now, okay, yeah, I see. I mean, like... I, yeah, that's right. That's, I, I love it. I love it. I mean, like, I don't know. Because I've always, because, as I've mentioned many times before, I was a theater kid, so I was always extra dramatic. But then again, I didn't, like, fall. <laughs> I mean, I may have occasionally, well, and really, this is just a more recent acquisition, because I didn't actually watch Adventure Time, but I may occasionally have to fall. But I don't, I don't be falling like that. I re and even younger me did not fall like that in shit. <laughs> but then again, it's just like, it's, it's different strokes for different folks. Maybe some people liked it. See? Really? Okay, just stop. How should I know how to act cute? I, just, just, I mean, once again, I'll blame her. Take what you can, take what you see and take what you know. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh, he's locked back in. <laughs> By the way, you're doing this wrong too. Huh? For the sake of the mission, you should have left her and run. You're a failure as a ninja. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, he's talking crazy. But he, I mean, like, I guess if it's, if that's how they're trained. Technically, he's right. I mean, like, like if that if you if you were meant to like do everything for the sake of the mission and by proxy your own survival to ensure the continuation of the mission, anything that deviates from the mission is technically you breaking training, breaking protocol, breaking whatever. And lastly, you might as well be a failure. Eh? Eh? But let's see. Let's see. Let's see how she overcomes this or corrects this with the glorious King Yodaka. Let's or or what's again? Could be the other guy. Who knows? I'm allowed to save whoever I want. Sure you are. Uh oh. Where, but like, where are you pulling these things from? Wh wh are they in your sleeves? In your pants? But where, where are these? This is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, I miscounted. But still, four. Where I, bro pulled out a whole shit, like the you said the multi shadow clone jutsu, the multi pole jutsu. That sounds even worse. But let's see. Do not act outside. Oh. <laughs> I ended up giving him this voice, and now I have a character who looks older. Mm. Oh, who is this? Do not act outside the confines of the mission. Completing the mission is your completing the mission is your priority. I mean, me. <laughs> Ninja work for a greater cause, so we ignore the minor details. You got that? Huh? It's a ninja's job to protect people. That's right, Yotaka. I already knew that. I don't need the lecture. Could be, yeah. I, I mean, like, it, it once again, it kind of depends, right? It's the utilitarian argument all the time. It's it's the trolley problem is so common that it's like one of the few things that I say you learn in school, and it's like, yeah, that'll actually that'll stick with you. I haven't touched the quadratic formula in years. Years. Ye like it has been a decade, maybe not a decade. I mean, I've been, maybe, maybe, but that being the case, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I get that. that The whole idea of, like, well, for the greater good, if you have to sacrifice a person, or two, or three, or four, or five, to save a million, I mean, do what you gotta do. But that's the thing. Personally, I, I it's, it's, a, it's a thing where I understand it logically, but don't think I can do it myself. Like, I get the trolley problem. I understand the trolley problem. I will never forget the trolley problem. I, I have, I've had to write too many essays on it. But if you were... To give me the trolley problem, I'd probably be, I'd be number th well, I'd be the, I'd be the bystander. I'd be like, I'm not touching that track. But then again, give me the right incentive and I would. So, so, so it's a, it's a very complicated scenario. Let's see. You can't win if you're protecting her. Even if I'm working for a bigger goal, I can't lose sight of the smaller details. Ideals won't help you advance. Then who cares about advancement? I'm fine, right where I'm at. I mean, like, I mean, like, I mean, like, he 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 can just take your life right now. Would you be fine? With that? <laughs> I mean, it's not advanced, but I'm like, like, like he he like he could just end you in this moment. Well, I'm assuming my glorious King Yodaka is gonna appear from the window. I have no idea. But it's like, right where I'm at. Is that so? I'm giving him I'm giving him way too deep a voice, but like. Something about this, it's like right, it's right beneath my register. Like, I'm right here right now. And though admittedly, I don't know, maybe it's just me. My voice does sound a little deeper than it does when I usually record, which is weird. I think typically my voice is more up here. But right now, this is my, like, casual speaking register. But I spoke, well, actually, no, I didn't actually speak much today. Typically, 
Because if you'll notice whenever I'm like wearing the same shirt for a bunch of videos and I bulk recorded, you'll notice, you'll notice my voice gets higher and higher and higher. Because typically I'll bulk record right in the morning and then I'll just keep going and going and going and going. And then my true, my true voice comes out. But today I didn't actually have to speak that much. For a majority of it. So I, I understand why my voice is rather like in the lower registers. Because technically this is like a weird extended version of my morning voice. What's it? That's so. Uh... Ooh. Okay, so she grabbed one of his poles and <laughs> dragging it across the wall. Interesting choice, interesting choice. Panicking much? Mm. Okay, but, but this is likely just making a whole bunch of noise in order to draw her allies, I presume, I presume. I highly doubt this is random. Oh, that too, that's smart. She obscured, she obscured my vision? A stealth attack? Or she could just dip. Grab the person and dip. I mean, like, it's too late, Buckaroo. You should have <laughs> I mean, like, you should have just moved quick. Let's see. That, that is, that was, that was not, that was not, that was not the move. That was not, if anything, obscure his vision, grab the girl, and yep. You are not in a position to fight him. At all. Your arm is literally, but like, I, I don't know. Is it a valiant effort, Hibari? Absolutely. Was it the smartest thing to do in that situation? Absolutely not. What was the, what was the move here? <laughs> And I already saw it on the next page. He just catches it. <laughs> didn't, even, didn't even have the dignity or the respect to catch you by your fist. He said... And there is... There, at least to me, there's never been nothing more disrespectful. Like, I remember when I was younger and weaker. I'm still... Especially in comparison to, like, some of my actual stronger family members. I am still relatively weak. Like, I'm a, I'm a solid C tier in terms of my overall family. There, there There's some beasts in, in my bloodline. <laughs> like I always see those memes about like I'm gonna train until I'm the strongest in my bloodline and like definitely not I'll keep training I'll try to get better but strongest in my bloodline I think you probably got the genetics for this I have like at least 8 cousins who are at least half a foot taller than me and twice the muscle mass I ain't overcoming that but that being the case I always do remember one of my cousins whenever we would fight, quote unquote, aka me swing on him because I simply wanted to try and prove my value. He always just and like pull me about by my wrist as if I were a child. Not the time I was literally a child. There was nothing more humiliating. It still hurts to this day. We're about equal in strength now. <laughs> he since, since he he never worked out, and I just grew eventually. He's like, oh. Let's not do that anymore. And I don't, but let's see. Okay, okay. That's enough. Your ideals couldn't save anyone in the end. <sighs> this is as far as I can go. Please. Okay, so yeah. So, so hopefully hopefully this was like multi-stage. Hopefully Odaka's gonna drop in from the sky or something. One down. You can't say that until the stake is in her head, bro. Do you, you want to talk about cliches? You want to talk about not understanding the way the world... This is villain 101, bro. If they're still alive and breathing. You are failed. <laughs> You're going to put it through they don't... Like, that's... A, honestly, like, I, I, weird meta break. Kind of, sort of. I'm writing my own stories right now. And I'm, and I'm struggling to write villains. I'm struggling to write villains. Not necessarily... Well, here's the issue. I'm struggling to write villains that fail a bunch, but don't seem incompetent. Like, the, a big plot point in the story that I'm writing is that my main casting crew is so much weaker than their adversaries that they do everything in their power to avoid them. For, like, the entire... It's a five-book series. The entire first book, they're essentially... Oh, sleep with the mercy, they're here! And boom, and, like, they're running. But at the same time, I'm trying to make the adversaries one not only seem powerful enough to make them run on darn near every single location, but at the same time, not be so incompetent that every time they catch them, that they don't immediately just grab them if they're that, really that much more powerful. So the way I've worked around this is explained that the antagonist group is specifically limited by multiple factors. One, the organization they're working for. Two, actual seals placed on them by... Spoilers for that series that I'm writing that'll come out in like 10 years. And three... They're also just limited by their own mentality and stuff like that. And four, none of them are actually that interested in doing what they're doing, and thusly they don't put too much effort into it. So it's like, I'm trying to make it a four P, but at the same time, I'm not sure how to like keep those villains intimidating. Because like, okay, sure, the cast and crew is consistently running from them, but unless they catch a body or something, I'm, I'm not sure. So I, like, I'm, I'm working around that myself. So I'm not saying it's an easy feat, but <sighs> my boy, whose name I forget, you should do better. One down. Uh oh. Yodaka? <laughs> from the top rope huh 
Uh, it's locked. This is an emergency. You can break it. Oh, okay. Oh, so is this door going to fly out the hinges? Door! <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! How strong? Okay. How strong is Yodaka, bro? What, what, what are they? What, what did they feed him? Dog. He kicked a locked door off his head so hard and still hit. Like, golly. Ugh. Not like that. Uh, did I do something wrong? Jeez. Turn the door. Is that, no, he just turned the door into a straight projectile weapon. What are you, what are you made of? Where can I get it? Was it? Huh? That was quick. What was that? Oh, well, he's fine. Okay, at least my glorious king is fine. I was like, Oh, I've read the location where he bought his comm stopped working. Ah, so this is what she was after. Oh, 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 okay. I, I thought, okay, okay, this is, that's smart. And yeah, if the door was locked, then maybe she wouldn't have the time. Okay, so never mind. I take back what I said earlier. She did make the smart move here. She was going to be the communicator. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You, you ruined the whole vibe. You absolutely slaughtered the whole vibe. Let's see. Huh? I have eyes on the situation. I'm taking over from your body. Looks like I'm up. <laughs> Yo, Doc is about all. Okay, this, this. I mean, I'm not sure the way, the way my glorious king got tagged. He maybe cooked, but still, this is a W chapter. I'll admit, I like the character work for Hibani. This is especially interesting to set up so early on in universe. What? Not only just like a main four, I guess, because it's Yodaka, assignment whose name I forget. Hibani. And the other guy. We haven't seen much of the other guy yet. Obviously, we're only six chapters deep. But to set up the main four this way and have them have overlapping and contradicting ideas and ultimately having them need to genuinely support each other this early on, I like it. Ultimately, the one thing I'm worried about, though, is that since Yodaka is so undeniably strong, like, he's, he's clearly, not only have they said he's the strongest, but, like, they're showing it consistently. I'm cut. Why'd you do that? I'm kind of worried he's gonna he's gonna kinda have the Goku issue. Or like if the other two ever get into problems, or I forget her name. If if M Mukai! Mukai! That's not his name, that's the assignment's name. But if Mukai, Al Mukai, there it is, there it is. If Al Mukai ever gets in the situation, it's just gonna be like waiting for Yodaka. And like sure, the Goku power structure or the Goku storytelling metric works. Like clearly it's working here. But at the same time, I hope Hibani and other dude do get powerful enough, or their other characters on the side of the good guys get powerful enough that and their antagonist strong enough to actually press Yodaka. Now, of course, he didn't take too much damage from the door smacking him in the face, but I hope this guy puts up a good fight and ends up staying there for a while. I hope he doesn't just get one dab, because so far he's been the most interesting character of this entire series. Hmm? Hmm? I don't know. But if you went all the way to the end of this video, please leave. I'm up. <laughs> with, a pe with a period. Leave I'm up, as in the phrase, but specifically with a period at the end. In the comment section down below. I said thank you so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that only case bell so you don't miss out on any of come to the channel. Also, also I do happen to have a Patreon down below where you can support me for as little as one, kind of one, no month. If you think it's like exclusive videos, early content, and more. You also now become a member of the channel for as little as three dollars a month to get the same perks and more. So those perks will include the live reactions to every the series I happen to review, and free variations of all my videos, and become a $25 patron, and only $25 member, you can order whatever video you want. Also, 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 I do a link to my Ko-Fi in the description down below where you can drop five minutes for a short video, 25 minutes for a long video, or any beats at all. Any support is always greatly appreciated. Now, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Once again, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is that other pencil. Writing off. I'd like to give a thank you to our three dollar members: Zara, Greyhound, Eternal Flame, NMA, Real Rare, Red Wolf, four seven six five, Astro, Brandon Payne, G Prosper, and Glacier XZ. And I'd like to give a thank you to our five dollar patrons: Midnight Lord twenty one, Kevin and Canacion, Sean, Igneo Lind, and A plus A. And I'd like to give a thank you to our seven dollar members: Fine and Austin Wimberly, A Uchia, along with Yuki Ally. And I'd like to give a big ol' thank you to our 10 dollar members, Robbie Uchiha, J Warrior, and AZ Void. And I'd like to give a thank you to our 10 dollar patrons, Overlord Zero, Waki Munoz, Waki Munoz, and Idemokami.
And they gave a final giga legendary superhuman beyond the hounds of reality. Thank you to our that guy with a pencil tier patron. <laughs> okay. Calvin Elder.